Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Kikuyu Town MCA James Kamau booed and heckled at the funeral of former Safina Party Secretary General Dominic Wamagata as he tried praising Kimani Ishungwa's imaginary achievements as the residents came out as if they were uh, kicking out the MCA uh, from the podium. There's something that is funny with this MCA. When people were coming out to boo him, and of course heckling him, he came out telling them that they should keep quiet, he should speak, because he must praise Kimani Ishungwa's imaginary achievements that are not there. I want you to watch the video, but before we watch that video, please don't forget to like this video. When you like this video, you automatically support the work of this channel. And of course, you are going to be recommended in YouTube platforms. And for those who are visitors for the first time, and maybe you've been watching this channel, or it is for your first time you're watching and you have not subscribed, please do me a favor, ensure you subscribe to this channel. You like this video, you give your opinion at the comments section below and share this video. Listen to whatever the Kikuyu town, MCA James Kamau, how he was booed and heckled. And before you left, you had ambitions of becoming the president. In Oranabokimani Shongwa, we have a leader who is a heartbeat away from national politics. So my request, my request to you, my request to you, Honorable Paul Moite, is that you advise. Eh, nimewaskia, nimewaskia wageni. Odoa panya, nimewaskia. But I'm telling the, uh, I can see the noise coming from the Odoa panya team, and I hear you. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm telling Honorable Paul Moite that indeed in Kemani Shongwa, you give him counsel because you are a senior counsel. And you are seated next to him. Um, honorable guests, what to Odoa panya? It's, um, in this democracy, we always listen to each other. As I conclude, uh, Honorable, Honorable Paul Moite, I will, I will sit. I will sit. But as I was saying, as the, as the leaders in Kiambu, we want to say that indeed we shall have proper changes in Kiambu and in Kenya. We know very well that this country was left with a lot of debts. We all know that we have a duty as readers to restore the country to where it ought to be. Lakini, jikare the juge, roho wa magata, wale wako hakikisha neharena oigereleku. Na wa magata ole are daga, nejoe no to kuhigia, ne todo kwena dena, to tige hida tuge gotire na dena. So, mutugateri, we have a duty, we have a responsibility. Tweke orea kwa gereire. Na nejoe tuwe na leader as the senior council. Neto kwa achieve that. After the MCA was booed and heckled, remember Jimmy Wanjigi was present in that barrier. And what Jimmy Wanjigi told them was so shocking. That the Kenya Kwanza government, they have almost finalized their first year in the office. But something to substantiate which it is their development. It is not really clear. But those who do not understand, they will just come up, uh, of course, hyping and saying that William Ruta has done this and this. Nothing he has done. So Jimmy Wanjigi never came out hesitating to respond to the MCA and how the movement of people is going to be so little to their government. So Jimmy Wanjigi came out to say this. Mumekua kwa power mwaka moja. Na wanainchi wanaumia. Najua wa magata pahali ako ata yewe anelilia sisi wanaiti ya pana. Mujue wanaiti wanaumia. 
na kama amuta rekebisha hii msafara eh, usicheza na wananchi usicheza na wananchi hiyo si onyo it is the truth it is the truth unafikiri sisi ni kama panya sisi si panya sisi si panya ya kukanyaga sisi ni wa binadamu sisi ni wana binadamu na muwezi kila siku mnaamka mnatuumiza 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 mnaleta ushuru mnaleta sijui nini na kwanza ni watu hapa ambao wanaumia zaidi kweli ama si kweli <laughs> ni watu wa hapa wanaumia zaidi na ha, watu wa hapa ndio waliweka nyinyi kweli ama si kweli kama si nyinyi wangekuwa hapo basi halafu wanakuja kumchezea hakuna kitu kama hiyo na mjua hii ni januari januari 2024 mumepatiwa the truth muko na miezi tatu namna hii kama hamtabadilisha hii mwenendo aya aya miezi tatu that is how jimmy wanjiki came out responding at that burial there's something that i have realized with this UDA cronies can i call them cronies over how this UDA MPs MCAs senators they usually behave in a not in a good way wewe hii ni watu walikuchagua they are heckling and booing you seeing that they are not comfortable with what you are telling them and absolutely you are lying then wewe unakuja kuwasomea Munyamaze I must speak unaongea nini these people elected you and in fact when the right time time comes you will be dethroned they will elect someone because you are not humble you are elected you are not representing their issues when they are making noise saying that you are not saying true or rather you are not saying something that is true unawageukea unawasomea ati wanyamaze between the people and you who is so powerful you're just powerful because you're now having the instrument of powers ulishachaguliwa umekuwa sworn in you are the mc of area you are the member of parliament senator governor any any anyone but when you look at even the way they are arguing these are people who do not understand what they are doing you cannot Uwezi kujua kusomea wenye wale kuchagua wanakuambia unawaambia ati kuna barabara imeshajengwa au wanawakuambia hakuna barabara imejengwa because these people who are making noise and saying hakuna barabara imejengwa wanakuwa kwa ground day in day out ama asala so kwa ground day in day out you know so when they are making noise and heckling and booing leaders they must come out and listen to them you know you just you come out cool them down then you tell them this is what has been done and this is what they have not done but these people are telling lies no uongo no uongo mtupo so i think it was a signal that as the clouds are gathering i think this elected members of parliament must be shocked they must be terrified This reminds me about five months ago during the Azimio demonstration. Guys, did you saw what Arama, the member of parliament of Nakuru West, Arama coming out na kubeba bunduki na kusitua watu wenye wamemchagua. And actually he's telling them, mukileta mchezo mimi nitawapiga risasi hapo. These people elected you. You are threatening them. They are waiting you in the next ballot. And this how Arama of Nakuru West member of parliament behaved.
kwani hata kupigia raia kura si hata mimi nilimpigia akashinda na William Ruto alafu anakuja kuambia ukuzi hapa au watu hata nikasema hivi watu wapiwe marisasi kwa nini hawezi kupigwa mimi nitapiga mtu risasi then how will you expect these residents to come out and elect him? how will you expect them to come again and elect him? you've had even boda boda person saying hii mtu tangu tumpigie kura hajawahi kuja hata kusema asante kuliko kuja kutuambia asante anakuja na bunduki kututisha hapo you know and remember these people are just listening watching understanding you then in the next general election <laughs> it will be solid and i want to encourage anyone who is going who is having ambition of vibe for any city in this republic of kenya 2027 tbd when we smama unaweza kuwa watu unaweza pita these people wataonyeshwa milango tutakuwa na nyinyi hapa mtaona vile wataangushwa i'm telling you ama waibe kura so the truth is uh, as hustlers are feeling so so uncomfortable with let me say not only uda elected members but we we, we had also those who are elected in azimio but waka cross over wakaenda ku support government hata kukuja kuuza serikali imekuwa shida kwa area zao hmm? for example like nyanza we have the rebels people like evans kidero walishindwa hata huko miguna miguna alifukuzwa kwa matanga we are having raymond omolo i saw the judge the other time who was being crowned as the new luo kingpin which it is just a, a joke that is a kind of joke then you look people like uh, tomo jend of kisumu came out singing day in day out that alikuwa maenda state house kutafuta maendeleo as we speak alikuwa tuna uwezo wa kwenda kupeleka ofisi ya mabati eh, yenye ukuta ni mabati juu mabati chini hakuna ta plaster viketi ya plastic at you ndio vilitoka nayo state house it is so so shameful as a whole senator of kisumu come, coming out to build eh, ofisi ya mabati uh, i think um, it is not going to be easy and as time is going by ladies and gentlemen If Kenyans you will learn a lesson these people must be shown direct way out of the politics of the Republic of Kenya. Waacha wakae na familia zao wachunge mbuzi nyumbani. Because working for Kenyans it is a big problem for them. They are coming out with their interest, doing business, becoming billionaires. Watoto wao wanasoma ngambo, wengine wako Australia, wengine wako UK, wengine wako US. Nyinyi watoto wenu wakingangana huku bila school fees basi alimu na finyana mpaka mwingine anakufa kwa laini wengine wana wana enjoy they are enjoying themselves na utaona watoto wao public i'm telling you utaona watoto hao wana siasa nini watoto hao wana siasa public doubt you know and that is whatever then after that they will come out to pour money watakuwa na mwaga pesa kila mahali so i think we must come out kukua na rada Yaani tukue rada. Tujue ni akina nani wanaweza fanya kazi. I, I want to say there's a, a MCA somewhere in this Nairobi. Eh since he was elected. And uh, uh, I lived in that ward for about I don't know is it 3 years or 4 years. That young man since he was elected and he's MCA. Can I say I, I don't know is MC in Nairobi county madare constituency but that young man do not understand anything he doesn't understand anything totally anything at a parliament sometimes i end akona tuna mabishara zao you know this 
young man doesn't understand anything and that is why kuna mwingine alisema hii bravado ya uda wave ilibeba takataka yote mpaka hata yenye hata ojielewi you know and that is what happened with us so in the next general election wacha kuwa na ile wave atiazimio siju wave siju Kenya kwanza elect someone who is going to understand the structure and the reason why is going to work for the people ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise i want to appreciate you so much because of your support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video